All right, folks, today we are over in New Brighton at the food land. Over there, you'll see the new food land. This is the old one that the new one replaced. Looks like they got a lot of old stuff over here. We will check out first. So I'm wondering at that new food land, they probably got all new buggies. Or no, giant, that's a giant eagle buggy. What the heck's that doing here? You know what, I bet you it's everybody from New Brighton that uh, brings their, those are all food land. Holy smokes, that one got a giant hole in it. Yeah, everybody from New Brighton that brings carts <laughs> back from where they shouldn't <laughs> probably brings them over here. Jeez, there's all kinds of metal over here. Somebody just needs to uh, make a trip, old chest freezers. <laughs> Somebody needs to make a trip to uh, the scrap place and take all this fishers. I don't even know what fishers was. All right, we'll walk underneath the awning. Very rainy, nasty day today. Haven't been in the new food land yet. Kind of want to do a restroom review there. Uh, let's see, what's around here? Danello's Hair Care Center, Petrucci Brothers. I don't know what that is. Probably some type of construction, sounds like. Yeah, New Brighton really needed this. It's uh, really good for New Brighton. It looks like a lot of people use this as parking. Probably work, people that work and probably ride the bus. Good spot to park your cars as long as they allow it. Yeah, I was uh, kind of wondering if it would all be blocked off. But it's not, so... Thankfully, we can get right in here and check this joint out. Deli trays. All the machines. Yeah, they're still operating. Pop machines are filled and operating. Look at that. Nice. It's kind of smart because uh, people are probably still getting stuff out of them. Please visit our new store. Oh, they still have the machines. Oh, they're actually doing stuff in there, it looks like. Like they still have the, uh, <laughs> all those machines are full. There's all kinds of advertisements too. Yeah, that new store really beats this old one up. <laughs> Clothing drop. Oh, it's so nasty out today. Every day low prices. More for your dollar. Oh, well, I'm wondering if it's going to become a uh, dollar store of some sort. That's really cool. Good old food land. This actually closed down ages ago, and then it. Uh, and then it reopened. I think there was something with the freezers. They couldn't really re uh, afford, in a sense, to uh, fix the freezers. And then they finally came up with money to do so. And, yeah, it's just back to the store. There's a truck down there that says Foodland. Yeah, they finally reopened it. And then they were <laughs> gathering enough money to open a brand new one. Real good to see a um, smaller grocery chain. Uh, I believe they are... Uh, I want to say 30 stores last I looked. They're scattered over the area of Pennsylvania and I think a couple other states. I was laughing. I told the wife, Civic Type R right there. <laughs> I guess that's how you afford one though. I've always wanted one, but uh, yeah, I live in New Brighton. Cheaper living over here. And that's probably how you get one. So that has been the food land. Thank you very much for watching as always. Please like and subscribe and ring that bell. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, thanks, friends. Have a great day or night or whenever you're watching us. Love you all. Bye-bye.